Okay, YouTube, changed oil, changed all the filters, um, primed up the carburetor, and I'll show you guys how to do that. On these particular ones, there's a little hole, the little tube right here that runs up out of the top of the carburetor. Um, I did forget to put on the oil cap, though, so we'll put that back on. But uh, all you do is you just fill this up until it doesn't take any more gas, and that's all you do to prime up the carburetor, and it'll fill the bowl. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, the needle and seat is closed. The one thing we're going to be looking for is that once you've freed up a needle and seat like that, sometimes you will have a tendency um, to not be able to seat again. So we may end up having to replace a needle and seat in this, but I don't know yet. We won't replace it unless we absolutely have to. This is the guy's work pickup, so it's not a huge issue for him. Um, if uh, if it doesn't need to be done, it's not a not an over the road long hauler type of deal. So, um, at any rate, we're going to look and make sure that there's no gas pouring out of this or out of the gaskets down in the carburetor once we get it fired up. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully now, when I hit the key, it does fire up. I, it's supposed to be a fairly new motor. This truck has 295,000 miles on it, and it's on its, I guess, third motor or something. I don't, I don't know the whole story on it. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. Um, here goes nothing. Give it a couple pumps of gas. Hey, well, we're going to call that well done. Um, I'm guessing the big problem with it not idling is most likely, I'm guessing now, uh, the two-year-old gas that's been cooped up in that gas tank. So we're going to run it around the block, and um, we'll run it around the block, see what happens, see if it clears up at all, see if it warms up, and uh, we'll go from there. But holy crap, my eyes are burning. So I need to get out of the shop here for a minute. Breaking the law, breaking the law.